So hello fellow banknote and coin collectors, this is Glenn and today we're going to review the banknotes from Burundi. Now I do not have the full set of banknotes but we'll go through the ones that I actually have anyway. So the currency of Burundi is the franc. So there are two languages on the actual banknotes, so there's French and there's also Kurundi which is actually a native Bantu language. And as you can see at the top, has uh, the National Bank of the Re uh, Bank of the Republic of Burundi in uh, French and in Kurundi has a Ibanki y Republica y Burundi. So it's actually quite a challenging language for me to actually pronounce. Not as hard as Cantonese, ha ha ha. But anyway, this is the lowest banknote they've ever issued is the 10 franc and that's because the 1 and 5 franc have always actually been coins since they got independence in I think 1960 from they used to be called Rwanda Urundi uh, and they were part of the Belgian Congo and before that they were actually part of the um, German colony of Tanganyika so and they were taken over by Belgium it's compensation for their well, pretty much their destruction in World War One. So this is dated 1997. So all Burundi banknotes have a date on it and a serial number. So this this design was first issued in 1981, and last most of these banknotes are last issued between 2007 and uh, 2010. And then in 2000 and in what day is this one? 2015, I believe. Oh yeah, 2015 actually issued these new banknotes, which are actually the best series that Burundi has actually issued, and one of the better banknotes of Africa. So on the 10 franc, we have the coat of arms. It says Unity, Travail, Progress. So Unity, Work, and Progress. So as you can see, English has adopted unity and progress from French, as well as adopted probably bank and republic as well. And uh, also the plurals, S. So if you look at the German languages, their plurals are way different than ours. Now as you can see, if you want to look, uh, learn some words in Kurundi, you say Ubumwe, Ubumwe is unity, Ipikaroa, Ipikora. Ibi Ibikora. So that's work and Amajambere is progress. And also you can learn um counterfeiting is a crime pretty much in French. You can read it in uh Kurundi, but you need to actually get the grammar right and understand which words actually mean which word. Uh it has a security thread but it has no um actual watermark. And this banknote probably costs about one or two dollars on at a coin shop. Then we have the 20 franc. So, oh, another thing, the coins of 10 and 50 franc were issued in 2011, so they don't actually have a coin of 20 francs. So here we have a 20 franc, this is dated 2005. It has a native dancer, probably a Hutu or a Tutsi. Tutsi's pretty much dominated the government for a lot of the time and it's been interspersed between Hutus also dominating it. I actually wouldn't go to this country because it's still pretty unstable. Um, they still have a lot of violence there and uh, I think the civil war, low level civil war is still going on. So anyway, but that's a nice banknote and on the reverse we have the coat of arms. And then, once again, there is no watermark, so, as you can see there. And what's the value? The value is about 1,200 francs equals one Australian dollar. So this is pretty much less than two cents. Then we have the 50 francs. This is actually a nice banknote. Oh, one thing I forgot. This was the oldest banknote in circulation. First introduced in 1977. Uh, last introduced in 2000. And uh, printed in 2007. Then we have the 50 franc. This was introduced in 94, replaced the earlier one. Here we have a looks like a boat. 
Looks like it might have been carved out of an actual tree stump. So some cultures they actually cut down a tree. So you've got the whole log there. And then they actually carve out the inside. So then they actually make a floating boat. And we have the coat of arms there. We have two plants I'm not able to actually identify. This one's dated 2003. And as you can see, last day, 2007. And I think they issued smaller banknotes in 2009. And here we have a fisherman on Lake Tanganyika. So that's the largest lake. Also, it's a lot of endemic uh, fish. Uh, Chitlid fish. Hell of a lot of them. I think there's like 70 or 80 unique species that occur in this lake. The highest endemic population of those type of fish in Africa. And we have a hippo. You never mess with a hippo. That looks like coffee there. Up the top. And the watermark. It does have a watermark. What is it? Uh, it's hard to tell. Let's have a look. Oh no, it doesn't have a watermark. No, it doesn't have a watermark because it's only worth about five cents. So really, not worth keeping a watermark. Then we have the 1,000 francs, so this one actually has Prince Bruwaya Sore, who was assassinated in 1961. He was supposed to be uh, the first Prime Minister, because at the time Rwanda was actually a kingdom. So the first Prime Minister of Rwanda, but he was assassinated before he could actually do anything. So he's actually on this banknote. This is the larger version, and in 2009, they actually had a smaller version, and this bank that's supposed to be replaced by a coin, but you know, for the past 10 years, they actually haven't introduced the actual coin on this banknote. And currently, apart from 10,000 francs, is the only person that's identifiable that's on the banknote. So does it have a watermark? Um, unsure of. No, it doesn't look like. It's only worth about 10 cents anyway. It's got a security thread. And on the back we just have uh, building of houses. And we have banana plant. See a lot of these in Hong Kong. And also, we have the coat of arms. Once again. So that's a nice banknote. So all these banknotes you'll probably pick up for probably about $5 for this one. Yeah, probably between 3 and $5 for that one. And same one or two dollars for that one. Then we have the 50 francs, so this is the last large version. A uh, smaller version was also introduced in 2009. And this one is 2007, the last year that... Oh no, just second last year. 2009 was printed. We have a native art. And we do have a watermark on this. It looks like a buffalo. With large horns. And also... On the back we have the National Bank of Burundi building. So it's in um, Bujambura and uh, that's a nice, nice bank note there. Then we have a 1,000 francs, so as you can see the 1,000 franc is actually smaller. That's because this is the actual smaller version. So this banknote was originally a, a, a bit bigger than the uh, 500. In 2009, they actually issued a smaller version of banknote, and this is one of them. It has a watermark, which is actually Prince Res Ragasore. Uh, so you have trouble pronouncing Kurundi. Then we have a, uh, you know, agriculture. We have coffee over here. You've got nice beautiful colours in the centre. So this bank is probably between five and ten dollars you can find it. And here on this side looks like we have uh, the Independence Monument in Bujumbura. So and then we have the flags of Burundi. And that's actually a quite a nice bank note. I actually like that. I like the small ones. I need to get two versions, so the large and the small version. So in 2015, they actually issued new banknotes. These are actually quite smaller than the other banknotes. So we have the 500, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, but I've only got two denominations here. And this is, has an exchange rate of about 50 cents. And you've got the Nile Crocodile. You've got coffee 
And have a look at that beautiful two different colours in one. That's nice. Then we have the flag there, the coat of arms. And also we got the denomination in uh, two different languages. So Amafanga. I oh, know this is uh, all just one language. What am I talking about? So this side's just uh, got Grundy. So these banknotes probably look probably about four or five dollars each. These two. Um, and here we have a boat on Lake Tanganyika. And here's actually the map of the actual country. And the capital's over here. Just as go around that corner. That's where the capital is, Bujumbura. And you can look up Burundi on Wikipedia has a lot of information. And this side's the actual French version, has French. And the watermark is uh, on this one, is Prince um, Gregor Sode. And uh, each of these banknotes has a different person as a watermark. So the watermark for the 1000, if you can see, that is President Melchor Ndadaye. Uh, he was assassinated by the army in 1993, although that actual revolution was actually failed. Then we have a bird here, that's the broad-tailed paradise wider. Then we have a fish, unable to identify that fish. And then we have some cattle, so it's nice. And on the root back, we have another map with our banana leaves. Now if you look at it, you can see that these are probably printed by two different printers uh, because the dating system is actually different. Um, the map of Burundi is pretty much different. And are the serial numbers a bit different? Because, yeah, they look like it. one's thick and one's thin. So that, that's most likely two different companies actually print it. So... There we go, and these two, you know, you could probably buy them for less than $5, as I said before. But these are a nice series to get. So if you're going to get Burundi banknotes, I recommend you actually get the newer series, 2015, uh, before you get the others. Anyway, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, have an awesome banknote collecting time, people. Thank you for watching, and enjoy what you're doing.